bull baiting, a brutal pastime, and driving calves to market were two of the bulldogs' early uses. They are now kind buddies who adore children. Despite being purebred canines, you might find them in shelters or with rescue organizations. Don't forget to adopt. If you want to bring a dog home, avoid shopping. This dog breed is perfectly content with a quick stroll and a quick nap on the couch. Bulldogs are tolerant of apartment living and can make excellent companions for inexperienced pet owners. They are friendly toward all family members and relatively low-maintenance puppies. Just be careful to keep them out of harsh weather conditions, and also make sure to give them adequate exercise because these dogs, who are content to spend most of the day on the couch, are at danger for weight gain. Bulldog-specific dog food is available, did you know that? More about this variety what do Britain, the U.S. Marines, Yale College, College of Georgia, and many different schools all share practically speaking. The canine they have all decided to address their intense, constant characters. That canine? Why, it's the bulldog, obviously. Some of the time called the English Bulldog or the English Bulldog, the variety started in Britain and has a ridiculous past. It slipped from battling mastiffs that were brought to the English Isles by the Romans and was utilized in a ridiculous game called bull baiting. Today, notwithstanding, the bulldog just marginally looks like his predecessors by all accounts. And all of the savagery that he displayed in the bull baiting pens? Gone forever. Notwithstanding his still fierce appearance, you'd be unable to track down a canine with a better, really cherishing demeanor. Bulldogs are never confused with different types of canines. They are a medium-sized canine with a pudgy, low through body. Their short gagged head is gigantic and square. They have expansive shoulders and chests, with thick, tough appendages. Despite the fact that bulldogs are low to the ground, they are wide and strong. Their wide heads have cheeks that stretch out to the sides of their eyes, and the skin on their temples ought to have thick kinks. A bulldog has a saggy upper lip and his lower jaw is undershot, implying that his lower teeth stick out farther than his top teeth. The bulldog's jaws are gigantic and deep, expected for hooking on to his adversary and hanging on. Bulldogs have round, dull eyes. Their ears are little and dainty, collapsed back like a rose. Their short tails are conveyed coming up short on their rear ends. The bulldog's strong body drives him to have a particular step. Since his stocky legs are set at each edge of his body, he moves with all the more a waddle as opposed to a walk. It looks like kind of a free-jointed, rearranging, sideways roll. History The bulldog is a vastly different canine today than his precursors. Slipped from old mastiff-type canines, the bulldog breed was grown altogether in Britain. The main notice of the variety was in 1500, a depiction of a man, with two boldy dogs at his tail. The then furious canines were utilized in a training called bull bedeviling, which included the canine taking hold of the bull's nose and generally shaking it. Bull goading really had a reason. Softening the bull's meat was thought. For a long time, this training was said to slim the blood of the bull and make its tissue delicate after it was butchered. This conviction was solid to the point that numerous regions in Britain had regulations expecting bulls to be goaded before they were butchered. More than that, it was a famous passive activity in when there were no elite athletics, network programs, films, or computer games. The irate bull would throw the canine up in the air with its horns on the off chance that it would be able, doubtlessly stirring up a lot of pleasure for the watching swarm. The canine, then again, would endeavor to hook onto the bull, as a rule at its nose, and pin it to the ground through the power of its excruciating nibble. Impending bull baitings were promoted and swarms bet on the result of the battle. These early bulldogs were taller and heavier than the present bulldog, and they were reproduced to be particularly capable at this ridiculous game. Regularly, they crawled on their stomachs toward the angered bull so he was unable to get his horns under their bodies and throw them up in the air. What's more, 
Their wide mouths and strong jaws were beyond the realm of possibilities for the bull to shake off once the bulldog had a firm hang on its nose. His short, level nose empowered the bulldog to inhale while clutching the bull's nose. He should have been tireless to cling to the bull regardless of how much the bull attempted to shake him off. Size mature male bulldogs weigh around 50 pounds, mature females around 40 pounds. Show canines might be around 10 pounds heavier. They stand 12 to 15 creeps at the shoulder. Personality friendly and sweet, however with a standing for boldness that makes him a superb guard dog, the bulldog is a darling, not a contender. He's noble instead of exuberant and has a sort albeit at times difficult nature. The bulldog is cordial and accommodating, he coexists with everybody. He can be a sluggish student, however when he knows something, he has it for good. Bulldogs don't will more often than not be barkers. Typically their appearance alone is sufficient to scare off gatecrashers. Personality is impacted by various variables, including heredity, preparing, and socialization. Young doggies with pleasant dispositions are interested in fun-loving, able to move toward individuals and be held by them. Pick the widely appealing little dog, not the person who's pummeling his littermates or the person who's concealing in the corner. Continuously meet somewhere around one of the guardians normally the mother is the person who's accessible to guarantee that they have decent demeanors that you're alright with. Meeting kin or different family members of the guardians is additionally useful for assessing what a doggy will resemble when he grows up. Like each canine, Bulldogs need early socialization openness to various individuals, sights, sounds, and encounters when they're youthful. Socialization guarantees that your bulldog pup grows up to be a balanced canine. Enlisting him in a pup kindergarten class is an extraordinary beginning. Welcoming guests over consistently, and taking him to occupied parks, stores that permit canines, and uncomfortable walks around meet neighbors will likewise assist him with cleaning his interactive abilities. Health like all varieties, bulldogs are inclined to specific illnesses and conditions. Not all bulldogs will get any or these illnesses, yet it's essential to know about them so you can be educated when you interview raisers and can know what to search for all through your bulldog's life. Purchasing from a capable reproducer will assist with guaranteeing that you get the best bulldog conceivable. A doggy from a legitimate bulldog raiser will be inoculated and dewormed before you bring him back home. Capable reproducers utilize just actually sound, mature, something like two years or more established, canines, and test their rearing stock for hereditary sicknesses appropriate to the variety. The two guardians ought to have well-being clearances, documentation that a canine has been tried for and gotten free from a specific condition. In bulldogs, you ought to hope to see well-being clearances from the muscular starting point for creatures for hips, elbow, and knees, and from the canine eye vault establishment, surf, it are ordinary to confirm that the eyes. Well-being clearances are not given to canines more youthful than two years old. That is on the grounds that some medical conditions don't show up until a canine arrives at complete development. Consequently, it's generally expected suggested that canines not be reproduced until they are a few years of age. In general, bulldogs can have a ton of medical conditions. They are great canines, however be certain you're willing to screen their well-being intently and can manage the cost of any clinical treatment they might require. The accompanying circumstances might influence bulldogs. Care bulldogs are latent inside and don't need a lot of activity, in spite of the fact that they should be strolled consistently to hold them back from putting on weight. They are indoor canines and inclined toward a casual way of life. After around 15 minutes of play, they're prepared for a rest. This low to direct energy level makes the bulldog fit to any kind home, from a condo to a house with a yard. You can take the bulldog for a stroll of a mile or two during the cool piece of the day, yet he'll be similarly as content with a concise walk around and down your road. Due to their pushed in face, bulldogs don't do well in very sweltering or chilly climate. They inhale vigorously when they're hot and don't scatter heat well. They're particularly powerless to heat stroke. As little as 30 minutes outside in 85 degree temperatures can kill them. Furnish him with a cooled climate and a lot of new water. 
Bulldogs are additionally not swimmers. Their huge heads drag them straight down. On the off chance that you have a pool, spa, or lake, safeguard your bulldog from falling in. The bulldog is probably not going to be a compliance preliminary star, however when he picks up something, he always remembers it. He learns best through fun instructional meetings that include redundancy and uplifting feedback through food rewards and applause. Feeding suggested day-to-day -day sum, one half to two cups of a top-notch canine food day-to-day, -day, separated into two dinners. How much your grown-up canine eats relies upon his size, age, assemble, digestion, and action level. Canines are people, very much like individuals, and they don't all need a similar measure of food. It nearly should be obvious that a profoundly dynamic canine will require in excess of a habitual slouch canine. The nature of canine food you purchase likewise has an effect. The better the canine food, the further it will go toward feeding your canine and the less of it you'll have to shake into your canine's bowl. It's not difficult to overload a bulldog, however weight can pressure his joints, so he ought not be permitted to get fat. Keep your grown-up bulldog with everything looking great by estimating his food and taking care of him two times every day instead of leaving food out constantly. Assuming you're uncertain whether he's overweight, give him the involved test. Put your hands on his back, thumbs along the spine, with the fingers spread descending. You ought to have the option to feel however not see his ribs without squeezing hard. On the off chance that you can't, he really wants not so much food but rather more activity. Kids and different pets his pleasant personality and mass make the bulldog an incredible ally for kids, even youthful ones. A bulldog will tolerate a great deal from a kid, in spite of the fact that he shouldn't need to, and he'll leave assuming that he becomes weary of being tortured. Continuously show kids how to approach and contact canines, and consistently administer any communications among canines and small kids to forestall any gnawing or ear or tail pulling with respect to one or the other party. Show your kid never to move toward any canine while he's resting or eating or to attempt to remove the canine's food. No canine ought to at any point be left solo with a kid. With their pacific nature, bulldogs likewise coexist well with different pets, canines and felines. They might be less friendly toward unusual canines, notwithstanding. Thanks for watching. If you like dogs, buy my clothes.